Hi, I'm Jack Buffington for RobotBrigade.com. This is another video in my series of videos about digital logic. And in this video, I'm going to talk about shift registers. Now, a register is just a group of D flip-flops that can hold some data. Uh, a shift register is a special type of register that allows you to do things like uh, delay your data, take your data and turn it from serial into parallel or from parallel into serial. Um, and I'm going to show you how these things work. So let's look at just a serial in to serial out shift register. Okay. These are synchronous. So they all share the same clock. And uh, all right, in here you put your serial input data. And on the clock, the data will be presented out here. Run it like this. And on the next clock, the data that was here will come out here. And on the next clock, it'll come out here. And then on the next clock, it's lost. So this would implement a three clock, one, two, three, clock delay out to here. Now, uh, that was serial in, serial out. But you can very easily convert this into serial in, parallel out. So let's say I have one, zero, zero. Right, and I'm putting it in like that. So zero goes first. After three clocks, I have zero, zero, one, like that coming out of my outputs. So that's parallel in, uh, or serial in, parallel out. Now I'm going to show you, um, you could do parallel in, parallel out, uh, and that is just a plain old register, uh, if you don't shift it. Uh, now I'm going to show you a um, serial in, serial out with a load function. So if I have D, Q, okay, let's just assume that the clocks are all there so I don't have to draw it. Now if I was doing a shift register where it's going just down this way with the data, I would run it like that. But uh, I want the option to be able to load my data as well. And so what I'm going to do is before each D, I'm going to have an OR gate. All right. And before that OR gate, I'm going to have two AND gates that allow me to select what data I'm going to put into the D input. Okay, so uh, here is my load slash shift input and have a little inverter and that will come down here like that this one will come like that so when I want to load data um, this will be my serial in when I want to load data I'm going to have this uh, high and that's going to select this AND gate, the lower AND gate of each of these groups. And in here is the inputs that I put my data on. If I want to shift, I'm connecting to the upper AND gates. 
and these upper AND gates connect up like that. So now I have serial in. If I have this low, it becomes high after this. Selects this AND gate. So whatever comes in here, whether it's a 0 or 1, gets presented over here at D. And so uh, still this is selected on this one, so it can work its way down like that. So there's one more type, and this is a universal um, shift register. And the universal shift register has the ability to load data, shift it down, shift it up, and uh, hold. And so what this does is, I'm just going to draw one. and pretty much we have another OR gate and then we have four AND gates and these are three input AND gates like that and so we have two inputs uh, S1 and S zero and we'll have a little truth table that would be something like this this will be hold uh, now I may have this wrong it I may uh, have the order of this truth table that may be standardized and I'm not aware of it uh, but anyway it's gonna have hold shift Sometimes they say up, sometimes they say left. And uh, load. So what we're going to do is we're going to have input buffers. And so if it's 0, 0, then I need to connect to here and here. So that would be hold. And this is just going to be, uh, sorry, that's going to wrap around from Q. So pretty much Q is going to feed back into D and so hold just maintains the same data and if I wanted to do 0 1 which would be shift left and let's just call this direction left even though it's down uh, S1 would be 1 and the other is S0 okay so that one uh, I'm going to be taking the Q output from the previous and bringing it in here and and shift right is one zero with one being S zero and this one's zero and uh, I'm taking the Q from this one and bringing it around. And finally, with load, where they're both one, I'm connecting here and here, bringing it like that. And this is my data in. So that is how a universal serial register or shift register works. Um, yeah, pretty much that's it. And then, of course, we'd have our connection here coming down to the previous stage and also going up to the, the, uh, the next stage. So hopefully you found this video useful. And uh, if you did, take a look at my other videos on my YouTube channel. Or I have a master index of all these uh, digital logic videos at robotbrigade.com.